Welcome to Authentic Online Marketing with Ruthie Gray. Growing awareness for your blog, podcast, book, or product involves more than dancing to reels and yelling, buy my thing. This show models quality over clamor so you can put your spin on your message and market in a way that feels authentic to you because nobody wants to sound like an infomercial. And now, here's your host, Ruthie Gray. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the show. We took about a month off while we were working on some other projects here at Ruthie Gray Mom. And while we did that, we took the chance to highlight other podcasts that I've been a guest on. So if you've been following me on Instagram at Ruthie Gray Mom, you know that last week we highlighted Kathy Ladansky's new podcast. Kathy has the My Side of 50 podcast, and it was all about caregiving and the midlife pivot. And let me just tell y'all, the power of story is everything. So when you are marketing a product, don't forget to tell your story. It's funny because I thought everyone knew my story, but apparently a lot of people that are following me and have even been in my membership did not know my story. So I have strong roots in the caregiving arena. I'm an only child and have been caring for my parents for 12 years now in that role. Now, my dad passed away summer of 2020, right in the middle of COVID. And so I talked a little bit about that and shared my story. But y'all, this shows the power of niching down and marketing to your target audience. My target audience, as you know, is mostly women in their midlife you know, 50s and up that are letting their children go and at the same time stepping into caregiving roles, but also putting their big girl panties on and ready to take a new lease on life and do something in the business arena and on social and get their message out. And these are women that are believers that know that there's a bigger plan and a bigger goal in mind. So they want to get their message out and at the same time help build the kingdom of Christ. And it is such an honor for me to mentor these women and lead them along, teach them the ways of Instagram and how to use their own strategy and develop it. And then even using the new things, that's something that we do inside our membership that you're going to hear about today. We debrief usually once a month on what the new releases are because we know they come all the time and Instagram. I've often heard it said change is the one constant in life. And that is true. But that is doubly true on Instagram, y'all. So it's going to always change and always evolve because it's trying to keep up and stay with the trends of the often younger crowd. IGTV isn't going away. It's being rebranded into Instagram video, which will be part of a tab for all feed videos, not including reels. Okay, so there's just going to be a tab for live and IGTV, any kind of video, even I think even feed video, like if you would put it in your feed just as a feed video. This is good because they're boosting these two, not just reels, okay? And they're gonna be new creator tools, including scheduling sessions 90 days in advance, like for live. And you're gonna have, a story sticker for lives and signups for reminders for your live. I love this because y'all know that I always say, do a countdown and an alarm, turn on this alarm for your live. So that's going to really help you in the video department. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, not everybody's going to have this all at once. I don't have it yet. Y'all know how it is. You know that Krista still doesn't have reels. So Instagram is unpredictable about that, but they are prioritizing all types of video, but they are also categorizing them by links. So if someone wants to be quickly entertained, they're probably going to go to the reels tab. 
So then the other thing is for video, there is going to be, you know how the IGTV is 15 seconds long, the preview before people tap in on it. Well, it used to be 30 seconds and then they made it 15 seconds and now it's going to be 60 seconds. So that's kind of great, you know, to kind of get in a few more words to get people to tap in. Latoya says there are feed videos there too. My profile has made the switch. Haley's has too. Okay. So some of you have seen the switch. I have not yet. Okay. And then Haley has one more update. Haley, you want to share that? Yeah. So it's not really anything too crazy, but they're going to kind of update their transparency tools. They should have already done this, but we all know how they are with rollouts. So we all know how Instagram shut down the other day for like six hours or whatever it was, and no one knew it was going on. So apparently now there's going to be like a notification in the app that you'll get if there's if they're experiencing like a technological issue, they will actually give you a notification in the app that will kind of notify you as to what's going on so that you don't, well, it's basically to keep you on Instagram, you know, that way you don't go on Twitter so that you're like, what's going on? It will, they'll just tell you in the app, which is, you know, that'll be nice to get on and like actually know what's happening. Uh, And then there's also going to be, they're supposedly going to make it easier for you to review and appeal content violations and give you more like transparency about that instead of just always like the canned responses of like, this is why your content was flagged or whatever. They'll give you more details on that. And that may already be part of some of your profiles too, but it's supposed to be happening sometime this winter. Okay. So again, video, 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 video. (laughs) We got to all do video. And really y'all, if you can just pick out a few sounds that you really like from songs, just scroll and do eight second videos, you know, like take an afternoon and do a bunch of them. It pays off, but go live too, you know, go live, do IGTV, do the other things too, because it looks like they're going to promote all of that. All right, y'all. I have two more new Instagram updates that have just popped up within the last week, as I said. So while we're taping, I wanted to share them with you. And this is the end of October 2021 as I am taping. The next one, number four, you can now practice your live video before going live. You can do this with a guest or without, but this allows you to familiarize yourself with the software and set it up and practice your presentation. And then once you're ready, you can change the audience to public and get down to business. Isn't that awesome? And lastly, the number five update and probably the one I am the most excited about. Instagram is rolling out right now link stickers and stories for everyone, not just if you have 10,000 followers. If you will remember in the last couple months, Instagram did away with the swipe up. And instead, if you had 10,000 or more followers, there's just a link sticker for you sitting right there with your gifts and the location sticker and all of that in stories. So it was still for those with 10,000 or more followers. Well, they just announced this week that they're going to roll out this sticker for everyone. Y'all, this is huge, huge news. Your business game just spiked exponentially with this new update. So before you go posting all the affiliate links, however, or your product links, keep something in mind, the long game. So develop the no like, and trust factor before blasting everyone with your products. So this means first share some helpful links and articles that will actually resonate with your audience. So if you run across an article that would help them, but you don't have any skin in the game, use it. If you have a colleague 
that complements your message, share her link. If you have a podcast or a blog post that may help, by all means, use that too. But keep in mind that the goal is always to deliver value. And that means to treat your followers with the respect they are due. Give them value and then give them the product links. Don't just blast them. So this is this is uh, awesome. I am very excited for this. So there you have it, folks. Video is being streamlined, and this actually makes it easier for you to curate different forms of video content. Instagram is categorizing videos based on length, and all forms of video are being boosted. So go make some videos, not just reels, videos, any kind. In-app transparency should help. When Facebook and Instagram go down and just this week at the end of October 2021, you can now practice your Instagram lives. So this should make those of you who tremble at the thought of going live settle in a bit and get comfortable before going live. And lastly, you don't have to have 10,000 to be able to share links and stories. Wahoo! That's big, 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 big news. I'm excited to see where they go with all of this. So this is yet another reason why you need an email list, especially for the part where, you know, they're sharing in-app transparency. We'll see social media goes wonky sometimes. So speaking of an email list, you know that we recently did a series on newsletters and why you need opt-ins in your link in bio and so forth. If you didn't catch that series, flip back to the September episodes because all month long, we capitalized on that. And because of that, I have something that's going to help solve your email writing dilemma. This is a tease, y'all. Stay tuned for my Black Friday announcement, what I'm going to share with you very soon on this podcast and in my newsletter is about a product that I have developed that will help you reach your target audience with your newsletters, be able to actually receive replies from your audience and resonate with them so that they start filling up your inbox and wanting more of those newsletters. So stay tuned. I'll be sharing more about that soon. Y'all, if you have received value from this podcast, I would love it if you would go and rate it and leave a review, share it in your stories on Instagram, and I will reshare and tag you back. Make sure you tag me though, or I may not see it. And thank you so much for listening. We'll be back next week for more Instagram tips. In the meantime, make sure that you are following the podcast so you receive updates on your podcast app wherever you listen so that you'll know when we drop a new episode. We'll see you next week. Thank you.